Hello, ladies and gents. I'm the Rev. This is the forest, and this is update 0 0.14. Another broken update because the devs obviously don't have game testers to check and see if their shit is broken, which it is again. Uh, I don't know. Last time I did one of these, I called it buggy. This time, I'd like to know, do the devs have game testers? Do they have anyone in-house that actually runs and checks their builds before they release them? Because this is just garbage. They have royally screwed this one up. So, we'll start with down on the right-hand corner. I want you guys to watch this as we go through the video. And you're going to see that the food and your stamina just blast out on you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, there is no way for you to spend any time building anything and get anywhere because you're going to constantly be worrying about your food and now this crappy water mechanic that they put in. So the problem with the water mechanic is first and foremost, you have to find a pot, right? And I'll take you guys over to an easy place for you to find one. And it's over here. I ran around to all the various campsites. And I didn't find any of the pots anywhere. And the only place I did find one... ...was right here. So you guys know where this is. It's pretty easy to find now. Let's go and try and see how the mechanic works. So you run over here, right? And there's a pond over here. By the way, I checked just about every single pond and lake and all of them. When it works, as you can see, it's not working now. Okay. There you go. So if you don't have a pot, every time you drink water, it's going to hurt you. It'll feel your little thing, but it's going to hurt you. So... We'll equip it here. Okay. And then, let's do that. And hope... Okay. So we'll step out of the water. Now let's see if we actually get to keep our, our water we put in there. Oh, we did. Okay, that's good. Because if you try and run around with that in your hands, you have no way to defend yourself. And... We'll get to that in a second about how what they've done with the cannibals and how they've made it pretty much impossible to win against them. But you then, of course, run all the way back somewhere wherever your fire is. Person I still find on the beach here the best spot. If you don't get caught up in these rocks too much because obviously they don't know how to put climbing and... Oh my god. How to manipulate rocks in very well. That still hasn't been fixed. But the cannibals, they just run through everything. So, you know, that's good. They don't get caught up on the rocks. They just run straight through it. Okay, so we get over here to our fire, right? Let our fire. Okay. And we get our, our thing. We put it on there. Now, the other thing I noticed while I was doing this is the fire kept going out. So you've got to actually stay here. You can't leave it because your fire will go out on you. So, the other part of this is this right here, the water skin. Unfortunately, this doesn't work at all. You can't combine it with anything. You can't get it to work with anything. So, I don't know what the hell was the point of that. I'd assume it's you have boiled water. You can take it with you to run around and do whatever with, you know, X amount of uses. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Again, another new game mechanic that's broken. So as you can see here, we can now drink the water, and we can pick the water up. It's in our inventory. But now, it's empty, so you get a shot. That's it. And you saw that I had the water skin in my hand. Did no good at all. The only saving grace and the only thing you can do to try and stay alive is, first and foremost, kill yourself a couple of rabbits. Takes two rabbit skins to make the pouch because the blueberries will help um, with the water. 
you get a little bit of water for each one. So if you know you clear a couple bushes, you'll be good. Okay. So, that's out of the way. Next, we have the rebreather that they put on, right? So we have a rebreather. Now, a rebreather, this is a mask, obviously. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it looks like a mask to me. Maybe it isn't. But, when you hit the water... What the hell? What the fuck was that? Okay. So as you can see, the buggy bullshit continues. So, how in the hell did I just get thrown into... being killed by cannibals when oh my gosh okay and of course you can see the the pop does help you come on still got the rebreather on I should probably probably try and take it off oh it's not gonna let me do anything now okay well, this has gotten better from what they did before, because before it blacked out on you and screwed up half the time. So now I've got the rebreather on. Oh, spun me around, dropped me back into the fucking cave. That's awesome. Again, as you guys can see, just fucking bug after bug. Pardon my language, but this is really starting to piss me off with this game. There's no excuse for this kind of crap. You know, I don't know what the devs are doing. Again, obviously they don't have anybody. I'm not touching anything. Okay, you gonna let me out this time? <sighs> okay. So, you can take it off by R. And now we'll run all the way back to our home. And just keep, keep your eyes on the right side there. Now, before you used to be able to do this kind of distance, it wouldn't be any problem. You'd be able to take and build, do whatever. But they have screwed this up, and they have made it so essential that you're continuously looking for food you're not going to be able to get anything done you're not going to be able to explore because you're going to be trying to kill stuff you're going to be stopping and dropping and making campfires every two damn seconds because your food's going to run out on you or your water or your stamina so as we're running all the way back let's talk about the combat so i've been experimenting with the combat and what they've done is they've randomized it or it could just be bugs but now when you're fighting these little buggers and it doesn't matter who it is whether it's the so-called weaker cannibals or not you put your thing up the block right and even if you have full stamina three hits and it's gone and then they start wailing in the end there's nothing you can do because they're gonna keep coming after you and you die so of course now they've made it so it's incredibly difficult so basically the game now is run around hide from the cannibals pray they don't find you because you'll die they'll kill you every time if more than one finds you you're gonna be immediately dead because you can't block more things from multiple angles it's gonna kill you gonna kill you gonna kill you <sighs> so, and as you again, you can see on the left side how the FOV, their graphics engine, can handle it. Other thing that I've noticed, especially since I did, and I always do when they do a patch, a new game, right? We'll go into the wa oh boy, we'll go into the water just a little here. All right, let's try the rebreather again. Right, and it's completely blurred out. So, I mean, I don't know what their whole point in this is, again, but... And for some reason, now the rebreather's not working, and it doesn't give you any indication as to what's what. But, the last three times I've tried to go out to that, they've surrounded it with the Great Whites, which insta-kill you. You can't fight them, you can't shoot them, you can't shoot flares at them. I've tried everything, bombs, doesn't matter. They kill you every time over and over again. So you can kiss getting to the boat goodbye. 
there wasn't all that much good stuff on it to begin with. Although they did have the um, little Walkman on that with a horrible music, but at least it would keep help keep some of your energy up. But folks, you can see already on the right here how far my health's gone down, how far my food's already going down. I mean, you know, and we've this video's not even five minutes old. I mean, this is ridiculous. And of course, all of these, every time you hit them, open them. Let's take this stupid thing off. Um, they'll reload again. Which, of course, doesn't make any sense because, of course, if this is supposed to be survival, there should only be a certain amount of these to get done. Now, I understand why they're doing a bunch of these things. They're trying to extend the game experience so you're not just blowing through the game by having to slow down and, you know, constantly feed yourself, constantly worry about your health, armor, and other such things. They're going to be able to extend the game. But you know what? This early in development, that just shows a complete and utter lack in their product. A lack of faith in their product and what their end game is supposed to be. Because originally, when I first got into this, they talked about building multiple cave systems. They talked about being able to go and get onto other islands. That's why there are rafts with sails, houseboats, other such things. And those are, of course, still buggy as hell. And you really don't want to waste your time because, again, it takes a crap load of time. Now, the rebreathers, if I didn't mention them before, like I said, they're spread out all over the place. I didn't pick this one up so you guys can see it. If you do want to take and jump back in and be frustrated in hell, there you go. The most I've been able to do is to make my little base camp here. I haven't been able to build anything because every time I do, I get one, two, or a whole group of uh, guys coming at me, and I die over and over and over again. So let's see. So we've talked about the food system, how broken that is. The water system, of course, is broken as well. <sighs> I'm looking here to see what else there is. And they have done, of course, a bunch of optimizations as always. I'll put a link, of course, into the description below so you guys can see all of the things that they've been working on. Most of it's fixing problems they should have fixed in the first place. Again. My question to the developers, do you actually have someone that tests this before you release your patch? Most solid, good developers have game testers, and they do it in-house as well. These guys, sure the hell doesn't seem like it, because every single update is followed by multiple hotfixes, because it's like they don't even pay attention. They just throw stuff in, see what happens, and let's see what go how it goes. <sighs> I'd still like to know how in the hell I died right here. This is the one I don't get. How in the hell I died and woke up in a cave right here. There is not a single thing. And this time it doesn't do it. Okay. All right. So again, multiple bugs, multiple problems. Um, I'll be putting this video up, of course, the day that they put this patch out. Because like I said, I spent most of the day since it updated this morning working on this and if I was you guys my recommendation would be you know give it three or four days they do a bunch of hot fixes they don't fix everything I mean there's still things that are broken from before I mean they're trying but again don't put a patch or an update out unless you have people actually testing it because this is just garbage and like I said before there's no excuse for this this has been up on steam in early accents, accents for oh, access for over six months, and I just I don't understand how you can think putting out this kind of product with how popular the game is. People aren't going to be pissed, and they're not going to put this game down. This game has already pissed me off enough where I didn't do updates for a few months, and then it looked like they finally settled down after they got the multiplayer kind of worked out. Not really. It's it's even more buggy and broken than the 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 single player but oh man, look at that on the right side still with the, the fov oh my god anyways 
I don't know what to tell you folks at this time now look at this this video is not even 15 minutes long you know and it takes a good 10 15 minutes actually it takes more like a couple of hours to build a base right how are you gonna be able to do that when you're constantly out of food constantly out of water and constantly out of stamina all we've done is run around we haven't fought anything we haven't banged on anything and the day and night cycles again they've actually shortened them up yet again because I started this video at pretty close to daybreak so that's messed up as well so the last thing you ever want to do is try and fight anything in the dark in this game you'll lose they see perfectly you can't you'll lose so and like I said before they've they've screwed around with the block mechanics so that you know sometimes when you light them on fire they die most of the time they don't I've had one die out of like 15 experiences and I got killed over and over and over again so like I said folks I cannot recommend this game at all right now this is just ridiculous and it's getting to the point where it's insulting it's they're, they're making early access look bad and this game is supposedly from what all the hype and everyone says is supposed to be all that in a bag of chips well, well it's not so <sighs> anyways as always, I want to thank you guys so much for all your support and continuing to help support my channel. Without you, I can't bring you honest updates like this about early access. So please, like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll see you next time if the gods don't get me first. Or all or, oh, the freaking bugs. Alrighty, folks. Hang in there, and hopefully they'll fix this in the next couple of days. But I wouldn't hold your breath. As always, I'm the Rev, and I'll talk to you later.